I'm JC. Very nice to see you all again. In previous videos, we've learned some application about a polariscope in glass industry and preform manufacturers. In fact, they have been widely used by preform manufacturers for a long time. By using a polariscope, these preform manufacturers can easily find these common defects within their preforms by observing some typical stress patterns. In recent years, more and more other plastic products are being tested with the polariscope, such as injection molded plastic parts, acrylic plastic sheets, plastic films, and many others. Now, let's do some experiments together. Now, I'm putting on a PC sheet. When observing from the top, we can see very clear yellow stress patterns on, on the edge. It indicates this yellow area has stress. Let's try another sample. It's a polarizing film. In this angle, we can see very obvious yellow patterns, green patterns, purple patterns. When we slowly rotate the film, we can see something different. When rotating to about 45 degrees, this previous colorful pattern disappears. Now, I'm putting on an acrylic rod. Do you see this yellow fringe in the center? It means this yellow area also has stress. Now, let's try some other big objects such as a lampshade. A lampshade is totally transparent. Let's put it on our sample stage. We can see different area has different color stress patterns. We also bring another lamp shape. We can see yellow patterns, white patterns, gray patterns. During the observation, we find some area that needs special attention, such as this area. This yellow area, it may have some scratch. And, and this yellow area. Some manufacturers also want to know the stress distribution within their pharmaceutical packaging, such like these two. The color, their color is light blue. Now let's put them on our sample stage. From the top, we can see there are different colors in each area. This indicates this sample had very uneven stress distribution. Now, let's try another. It had the same situation. The stress dis distribution is not even. In the end, we will have another experiment. The research is about 
the effect of different transparency on our polariscope's testing performance. Now I'm holding an acrylic sample. For this surface, is complete transparent, and this one is not transparent. Now let's see them within our polariscope. For this surface, we can see very clear stress patterns in each area. Now turn to another surface. The stress pattern is not clear. It's affected by the transparency. Transparency in this surface is very low. By doing this experiment, we'd like to say that material transparency has some effects on our polariscope's testing performance. The idea objects are 100% transparent for a project object that is not completely transparent. We'd better do some sample testing first. That's all for today's sharing. Thank you for your watching and see you next time.